Hey everybody, INFP Gamer here again. Uh, now, I, although I mentioned some tricks for Double Dragon in my playthrough, I didn't actually show them to you, so that's what we're going to do here. Uh, there are about four tricks. The first two are just glitches or silly tricks, but the other two can be pretty helpful. In Mission 1, after you beat the Lindas, grab the barrel from the Lopers. Go to the corner of that building and throw it. You'll see it rise up into the air. At the end of the mission, you can climb the wall and go completely off the screen, or push the air but A button excuse me, to fall. But just be warned that you can get stuck up there sometimes. Here's a well-known trick for Mission 2. When you meet up with the Williams with the dynamite, let him follow you up until the edge of the red bars, then climb the fence and go all the way back to the left. Then climb the fence once again, and go all the way to the right to where he was. He won't actually be there, but if you punch and kick at that spot, you'll actually get unlimited experience points until you get all seven hearts. Just keep your eye on the clock. If you've got turbo, just hold it down, sit back, and relax. Before the boss of Mission 2, let them knock the whip out of your hand in the final Linda. Then kill her and pick up the whip on the last blink. It'll change into a bat that you can use against Chin. But if you don't want to fight Chin, you don't have to. All you have to do is just climb back down the ladder, go part way down the second ladder, and you'll beat the mission and be on your way to Mission 3. The weapon change trick comes in use at the end of Mission 4 in the final room. Beat the two chins and on their last blink, pick up the knife. It'll turn into a whip-style weapon that you can use against the Lindas, but let them knock it out of your hand again and pick it up again also on their last blink. It'll change into a box-type weapon that you use against the Lopers. Let them knock it out of your hand once again, beat them, and it'll turn into a different weapon to use against Willy. Let him knock it out of your hand with a butt with a gun, because bullets take off too much health. Pick it up again, and you can get a deformed weapon to use against Jimmy. Just be aware that this weapon is pretty weak, so it can take a lot of hits to beat him with it. So keep your eye on the clock if you're going to use it. Be Jimmy and you've won the game. That's all for now. Have a good one.